Hello Galaxy Heroes. Uh, right, so apologies about not being very productive or creative recently. Haven't been much uh, a levelling up of mods video out before this probably goes live. No, no, no. Anyway. Um, okay, tips. Uh, this is phase two of four on the Gian Ocean TB. First tip I can offer, and this is purely on a IE Do the executrix mission before you do the chimera mission that way round you'll have the chimera as your lead capital ship so even if you do rush into the battle you should have the correct capital ship um yeah i've gone by the wayside on that before now and it hurts hurts a lot so this is the executrix one um opted to go with my geos to start with all my geo crew are gear 13 um, don't have the relics as yet they haven't gone live but yeah um, when it works it does work it really does I was fortunate I didn't get any days on them to get started uh, which means that none of them now are dazed they're all able to assist and being able to call in that Voltrix is it um, assist any separatist ship and of course the geos are separatists makes this quite straightforward as long as days doesn't apply boom there we go so there's a million seventy two thousand and five hundred territory points yay um so executrix first and now we'll go for the chimera and of course what this does mean is that my Voltrix, so is it or whatever it is, I don't know, the droid, the, 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 the crewless droid ship that we're all waiting for make it good. Um, yeah, apologies for all the weird noises here. I wasn't sure what to pop in here, so I went with the gauntlet and I went with the command shuttle and of course Hound's Tooth. Hound's Tooth being up till now pretty much the only. 80% 80% certainty it's not 100% I'm hearing lots of people and I've fallen victim of it as well of houndstooth just getting decimated and once houndstooth's gone you, you're done you are done thank you very much uh, for making ships shittier than they already are I'm sorry I'm really salty about ships I think it's really sad that a game that is called Star Wars, Wars Amongst the Stars, Galaxies, blah blah, Galaxies of Heroes. Everyone and his mate has got a ship, and yet they are shite, except for uh, Houndstooth and the Milf. Otherwise, they're shite. They, they will not do anything really against the GOTB. Uh, I'm assuming that the light side one will then make us or compound the misery and make us even more infuriated about how much we have to invest in all these ships. Oh, bless. You know, anyone that's got a 153 Bistat, fair play to you. I just can't do that sort of thing. anywhere else in game you can argue all you like but you know let's face it you're not running Biston very much if at all you do use this ship all the time and even to a point with bigs now bigs and all wigs wedge and bigs i mean they're they were they're not anymore um yeah so basically here what i'm trying to do is is share around the breach keeping the breach basically with uh xanadu blood um keeping hold of the breach just means that um houndstooth is permatorn 
that's the whole idea there. My gauntlet's getting low. I'm still running. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to do the protection up there. Can we get rid of this annoying clone Sarge? Of course not. Because even on one red bar, he takes a gazillion hits. Oh, we did get rid of him. Okay. I retract slightly the salty comment there. But, yeah. Um, okay. So, who are we bringing in now? Uh, right. So, here it is. Here's that Vulpix droid or whatever it's called. I don't know. Vul Vulpix, I believe, is a, is a Pokemon character. But then, yeah, this is Pokemon. Pokemon with different tunes, isn't it? Uh, okay, uh, now we do the buff up or protection up. I really do want to get rid of Plo just because of what he does. Uh, he's boosting everyone with Plo and that Jedi Consular who no one uses anywhere, but when you face a level 95 Jedi Consular, he's just devastating. Uh, yeah, so Daisy's. is. Minded, other than the uh, call to assist that Xanadu blood can do. Uh, pick a ship, hit it. Okay, can we block her? No, we can't because the tenacity is through the roof. So let's just... Boom. One gone. Yay. And all that additional protection, as you can see, saves them. I mean, that's another real annoying... Yo. I'm sorry, I am a bit salty about this. I've gone through these where they're on a single red bar, but they're full protection up. And it's like, no, you can't just finish this. You have to play for an additional 15 minutes and burn through this additional protection that even the AOE from Chimera cannot get through. It can't. Uh, it's just, yeah quality of life speeding things up and then throwing real annoying factors in just no no don't just stop it we get that this is really difficult but this additional protection up bollocks is just too much it's one thing too many <coughs> so another ship's gone so we're down to three ships and whatever else they've got reinforcement wise must have burned up their reinforcements by now, haven't we? I don't know. We'll find out. So Volpix is almost down. There we go. There's a, some extra protection up on their ships, making them far more difficult to put down. Obviously, stopping for a ponder here. Oh, Xanadu Blood's about to go. Got the breach up there. Everyone, no, only Xanadu Blood's got the days, so we can call the assist. I think this is going to be from, yeah, Vader. Just trying, oh, but basically now I'm trying to go for the ones with the protection arm. Let's see whether we can clear that. No, we can't. Well, we do on that single hit there, so the middle ship on theirs is almost dead in the water. Let's get rid of this big bugger here, can we? Of course not, he's got protection up. <coughs> and now he's stealthed until he gets even more protection up. Yay! Yay, so down to two ships left standing. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Yay, one ship standing. Yay, all gone, yay. Uh, Vans decided that it has to double the three-point turn next to me. That's it. I'm my moaning done. Thank you for watching.